A piece of functionality that I get asked for most often from Form 7 is the ability to easily create repeatable content. So I was able to implement some functionality and I'm going to walk you through how to create repeatable dynamic content in your Form 7 forms in this video. Um, here we see in front of you we have a simple form where you put in your name, a week ending, and then uh, hours for a project for that week, right? So nothing special about this. You can see I have entry created. Um, I'm go ahead and update this entry. It's telling me it was updated. You can see from the URL here that I've got a uh, form ID of four, so it's loading this fourth entry here. But what uh, about those times where you maybe you worked on more than one project for the week? So maybe you want to enter time for project A, B, and C, or maybe just lots of projects. So you want a way to be able to add additional rows for your hours dynamically. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Here is the HTML that I created for those the, the hour entry that you saw. You see we have it's just a simple table where I've got uh, the column headings for the project name, the day of the week, then I have the table cell that has the drop down for the projects, and then I have an input for each day of the week. And I have some classes assigned to it to style it, and I also use this hours class to easily find all the hours and sum them up. And they each have their own unique ID because in Form 7, each element has to have a unique ID. Then on the key up, I also do I call the function to sum those hours. So if, if we wanted to turn this into a repeatable content area, I try to do this as easy as possible. I'll try to think, how can I make this easy to do? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the container that the containing element that contains all of your field inputs for repeatable content. Maybe it's a div where you have several fields you want to repeat. Maybe it's a span. Well, in this instance, my container for these fields is a row. So I'm going to go to that row. I need to give it a unique ID. So I'm going to give it an ID of repeating row. And then there's a special attribute I created called data-form7 repeatable. This lets Form 7 know that this is a repeatable container that needs to be repeated. And I need to set its value to what? To capital Y. So you've got your container, you give that container an ID, and then you set up the attribute data-form7 repeatable and give it the value of Y. The last thing you need to do is you need to, to call a function in Form 7 to actually tell it you want to repeat a row. You want to add another row. And to do that, you just have to call a simple function. Here I'm creating another row for my table. And in that row, I am calling, I'm creating an anchor with a, a link with the text of add row. And all I'm doing is I'm calling this method called Forms 7 Repeat and the value that I'm, that I'm passing in to this form 7 repeat function is the ID of the container. So you, you get your container, you give it a unique ID, you set this data dash form 7 repeatable to capital Y, and then you call this method form 7 repeat and you pass in the ID of that container. So you can actually have multiple sections on your form of repeatable data. So you can't, you're not limited to even just one section of repeated data. So you add this to your form. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and update my script in SharePoint Designer with that updated script. So you can see we've got our table cell for our hours, and then we've got the ID of the repeating row, forms table equals Y, and then we have this link that executes the functions form 7 repeat passing in the ID. So there's two things you have to do. Let's save it. And now when I go back into my form and I refresh the page, you see I now have this link for add row. And now I can click on add row and it adds another row. So I can select a different project. Sorry about the styling that makes that white. Put in the hours for that project 
and it even still does the functionality to sum the hours. I can even add another row. Let's add another row and give us project C. And for project C, I only worked one hour that week, a day, and then one hour that day. And now I can save it. It tells me my save is successful. And it reloaded the screen with that information. Um, just so you can see I'm not making anything up, let me load the entry that has ID of equal to three. And you can see that entry also has three entries for time. But the, with the ID of one, there's only two entries for time. So you can see that it's doing dynamic content. You can add additional. I can go ahead and add another row to this one to update it. So if I did this and updated that entry, it tells me it's successful. And it's reloading it with that field. So again, the only thing you have to do to make data repeatable with Form 7 is give your container of your repeatable data a unique ID, give it the attribute data-form7 repeatable with the value equal to capital Y, and then have some link, some button, something on the screen that the user clicks that calls the method form7repeat and passes in the ID of that container. Hope that makes sense. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, play around and have fun. Also, this was introduced in version 0 0.06. So if you're using anything before that, you will not have this functionality. Thanks a lot.